and the former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe. Great to have you all here. Uh, Ellie, let me just start with you because on this new reporting tonight of, of how this decision here in Washington is already ex extending and having its impact felt in New York, you predicted this earlier when you were hearing that this was going to happen within like an hour of the Supreme Court decision coming down. You could see the dominoes that were going to fall. I think this gives Donald Trump's team a shot, a long shot, but a shot to try to overturn the hush money case. And I think you just got some interesting details out of Will Sharp there as to how they're going to argue it. The Supreme Court today defined official acts very broadly, broader than I even expected them to. And so Donald Trump's team is going to say some of the communications, not many, but a bit of the evidence used against Donald Trump in the hush money trial happened in early 2017 when he was president, communications with White House officials. I'm not sure that just using the official Twitter account is enough to get something over the line, but they're going to have an argument. I think Judge Mershon, given his overall orientation in this case, is going to be skeptical of that argument. I would, if I had to guess, I would guess he denies it. However, this gives Donald Trump another arrow in the quiver for when he goes up onto appeal and could end up right back in the same place we got our ruling from today. Yeah, well, I mean, 